Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 6, Episode 3 of Battlestar Galactica, the board game, and we are playing with the Pegasus expansion. Uh, this is the new Caprica edition. What we're trying to do is activate that new Caprica edition. Last time we played Pegasus expansion, we actually did not make the seven jumps required. So if you see in our destination card, we need to get to get the new Caprica phase, we need seven, uh, seven points for our jumps. We've got one point uh, now with the Ragnar station, and we're going to jump into round number three. Before we do, quick shout out to this, this channel's sponsor, Pontus Fathom Press. We've got a bookstore down in the link where you can pick up the three volume uh, set of the books that we produce here at Pontus Fathom Press. Helps to support the channel. Uh, volume one, two, and three of Artificial Psychology of Desiring Machines. Volume two actually uh, has a section on Cylons. I, di I didn't get to read from it last time, but uh, I will t turn to it. It's called Cylon and the Machinic Desire of the Analyst. Battlestar Galactic franchise, particularly the 200, 2004 reimaging, focuses on the Cylons of the fleet, which differ from the previous Cylon models in their appearance. These Cylons, known as the new models, were recre recreated as Cylons as a mean of continuing their war against humanity. As in the original series, the Cylons are able to almost completely destroy human civilization, driving the remaining su survivors into deep space. However, in contrast to the original series, the 2004 reimaging introduces a group of 13 Cylon models that are nearly indistinguishable from humans in terms of their appearance and technology. These humanoid Cylons are introduced in the premiere of the series alongside with traditional Cylon models. So, the characters in the series are often, often referred to the Cylons as skin jobs. And yeah, it goes on from there. So I'll read some of these throughout this. We talk about Boomer and Chief. We can talk about uh, Hilo and Sharon, uh, the the child that they have, the machine and human child, and from a Freudian and Lacanian point of view. But it serves uh, as part of the ongoing collection. You can check also out a collected edition, Artificial Psychoanalysis of Desiring Machines. That collects the edition in a hardcover, uh, August Moldenhauer, William Mitchell, all three volumes with additional material, uh, a Lacanian view of the rise of artificial intelligence, uh, check it out. You can also check out our Patreon. It'll help to support us there for as little as a dollar and keep abreast of our other gameplay. And if you want, you can go listen to those podcasts over on the Pontos Fathom Press channel here on YouTube or on Rumble or on Odyssey. And as usual, thanks to our Patreon subscribers uh, for your support. We couldn't do it without you. So without further ado, let's jump into round number three. Uh, we're going to start up the top of the order again. Gaius Baltar, our president. Fearless leader Gaius Baltar, uh, get get him his uh, his skill cards, and uh, I believe he is in the brig. So let's try to have him uh, freed from the brig, so uh, he can go ahead and place his cards. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Care three will help him out here. No hard feelings. Uh, Ab Adama also. Go ahead and help him out. And obviously Caprica six. Why not? Okay, so he needs seven. He's got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's got eight to free him. Uh, so he will be able to get out of jail. Let's have him move over to uh, the CDC and he is going to launch two Vipers uh, to take care of this oncoming onslaught. Let's grab his crisis card and we've got in the ring. This is uh, this is that episode where they're fighting in the ring. So this one can give a success of plus one morale or a fail is minus one morale. So this is where they're using the boxing as sort of the uh, boxing as sort of a morale booster uh, 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 gag. So let's go ahead and uh, and set up these cards. Gaius Baltar can go first. We'll grab two from the from the deck here. Place these here. Destiny deck. Uh, it is green, yellow, and purple. Let's go ahead with this. We need a twelve. To get that morality boost. This all is out. Another one here. Ok. 
Okay, from here, Galen Tyrrell. And Ellen Ty. Okay, so let's go ahead and shuffle these together, add them up. Let's see what goes on here. And we've got uh, 0, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we beat it. So uh, let's go ahead and give plus one back to morale. So that's rare in Battlestar Galactica. We get points back. But the boxing rep match uh, increased our morale. <coughs> let's also have the Cylons go ahead and we can launch a Cylon... Uh, we need to launch a Cylon uh, carrier, heavy carrier. So heavy carrier gets launched from this card here. Uh, Cylons are also able to attack. So let's go ahead and do a Cylon attack. We'll have the base star attack Galactica. Uh, first off, base star can attack Galactica. Uh, did a three, they a miss. So that's that. And we'll have the um, jump clock advance and we'll move the token over to Saul Tai. Saul Tai will go ahead and he's going to activate his ability to, um, from this Ragnar station, he's gonna repair three vipers in one wrap so he's going to get to repair those three vipers from the ragnar station bonus so he'll go ahead and do that <coughs> as actually he's actually going to stay in the cic i'm sorry in the jump uh control of the jump jump control uh because that jump will probably happen this round uh let's go ahead and grab his crisis card and we have the witch hunt the witch hunt the witch trial this is where there's a tribunal so let's go ahead and grab two destiny cards here. Uh, and place these at the uh, place these at the top here. And then we'll go and have Ty. Uh, he gets his cards as well. So he gets three and two. Let's have him go ahead and place these here. Uh, we'll have a Dama. And we'll have Thrace, Kevin Thrace, and Chief Tyrrell, Ellen Ty. Okay, so let's mix these in together. <coughs> so it's no effect if they win. Plus six, it's minus one morale. So let's go ahead and do it. So it's two, uh, five. Minus two is, uh, minus two is three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly uh, on the money here. So no effect from the witch hunt, uh, no losses. So let's go ahead and um, uh, have the Cylons come in and attack here. They will move in to attack the ships. Uh, we'll have a attack here. They're able to cause damage to the population is now reduced to eight. Eight population damage here. Uh, but the jump clock is automatically going to get triggered. So Cylons are off the board. Uh, everything is reset. Kara Thrace and Apollo are back in the hangar, and our Vipers, unfortunately, were unable to engage to save the uh, fleet ship, but we'll kind of go with that for next round. Okay, uh, next up, we'll move the counter over to, from Sol Tai to Captain Adama. We'll give him his... One, two, uh, three, and four. Uh, place these here. 
Lee Adama, again, he will launch here, and he's also going to launch two Viper pilots as his action, uh, just stay on the cat as the CAG. Uh, he will go ahead and move these vi Vipers. That's fine, he'll leave it like that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab his Crisis card. His Crisis card has uh, Prisoners. Let's grab two from the Deck of Destiny. And we'll have Lee start up the round uh, with... We need to have 11 to pass this. Pass without effect, otherwise it's minus population. Um, okay, with the race... Uh, Galen Tyrrell, nothing, okay, um, let's give him this, and we'll give Saul Ty this, uh, here, okay, so we'll shuffle these together, and we get a three, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, minus 1 is 10, uh, 11, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so we're still before the minus 6, so we exit uh, without any issue, so yeah, if you go, oh, if you get like 17, you're going to have to have a, uh, so you over, you overwin, some of these have an overwin, so you have to get the right the right exact number. So in this case, we, get, we were able to hit that. Uh, there are no Cylons here, so we can re reset and advance the jump clock by one. And we will move down to Carathrace. Carathrace also will launch, and for her action, she will also get two Vipers. Let's have Kara fly in the new Vipers, why not? I know she always, actually, let's keep her with this one. Let's have Lee fly in the new Vipers, and Kara flies the old Vipers. So we can kind of distinguish them. So Lee's going to get the new Vipers, uh, kind of like he did in the first episode. And Kara's going to get these Vipers. And you can check out these Vipers that we've got, the new and the old ones. We painted these up. It's kind of cool. Right? So Kara Thrace, two Vipers. Kag, Lee, Adama, two Vipers. Kara will go... Uh, she's there. Let's grab her crisis card. It says uh, the council. So again, we have to, if we fail this test, minus one population and lose a card. So let's go ahead and grab our deck of destiny cards. We're down to our last few cards here. And Carathrace can start the, start the process here. Um, put one here, Saul Tai puts one, and Lee Adama, can he help at all here? So this is going to look like a fail here, so. Okay, so we got zero, zero, two, minus two, so zero, we lost this one. So minus one to population and losing the cards. So she loses these cards, minus one, to, so our population is now down to seven. That's not a good sign in Battlestar Galactica world. We do get to advance the fleet clock, there's no Cylons on the board. So let's move the uh, character down to Cavill. Cavill is going to, let's have him, he's going to move to the Cylon fleet. Uh, and he's going to spend one of his cards to do so, he gets two cards. A uh, trader card and a tactics card. He'll trade in one of his tactic cards to do that movement. So now he is now in the Cylon flotilla. Let's grab his. Let's go ahead and see if he can do an action here. Uh, Cavill again. He can play his base star. So he will play his base star, and we get three Cylons on, and we're gonna grab a ship to put in the back to defend. So we get three Cylons. Uh, so Cavill is on the board. Uh, we also have a, a Cylon jump clock for the flotilla, Cylon flotilla, so they can also jump. So we'll, uh, take, we'll take care of that coming up. Okay, let's move on to Caprica 6. 
Caprica 6 is on the friendly um, friendly uh, board. So Caprica 6 is actually on our side. So her, her we're going to flip this actually to the human friendly. And let's see uh, what she can do here to help us help out our, our crew. Uh, let me just grab the... I'll have her move to so she can actually she can remove some um, danger cards from the from her hand so let's give go ahead and give her a leadership and an engineering card so she can assist in the next call they don't do a crisis deck though we'll go to galen tyrell uh galen's going to get his political card so that's one two three four tyrell is going to grab uh, tyrell will go ahead and launch vipers as well uh, he will launch two vipers and he will move these to um three to fighting defending this dratus signal here uh Tyrell will also, oh, so we have a, a crisis card for Tyrell. Uh, it's clandestine encounters. So this is Saul Ty kind of uh, hallucinating a bit, I think, when, when Saul was uh, hearing sounds in the wall, right? Let's go ahead and, uh, who's meeting up with Caprica 6? He thought she was Ellen. Let's go grab, we'll grab two from the Destiny deck. And we will try to get nine here. So we'll start out with Tyrell. Uh, he's got these. Ellen Ty here. Gaius Baltar. One. Uh, Saul's out of cards. Um, Lee Adama. Play this. Get rid of it. Carrot the race, play one, and Cavill, Caprica, nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the numbers here. Shuffle these up, and we've got one, minus six, minus five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we got 15. There's no overage here, so there's no effect. Cylons get to move. We can roll an attack of the Cylons on the base star here. So let's roll an attack. Uh, we are 2, 2, and 8. So the Cylons do a damage. Um, let's grab a damage token, and we can see what they damage. So I'll just come and fish for one. Okay, we got a damage token here, and we get the arsenal is damaged. So Galactica takes the damage to the arsenal. Uh, let's go ahead and move to Ellen Ty now. This moves our jump clock ahead as well. Tyrell's turn's done. Ellen Ty gets her population, a political leadership, and a trader card as well. Uh, Ellen Ty will go ahead and uh, let's have her. She's going to spend a a card to go um, actually go back up to the presidential suite up on uh, Colonial One, and let's have her get her crisis card. Uh, she will grab. We need to refresh the crisis cards. Let's shuffle these green ones up. We need two, 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 
two, two, two, and two. Let's shuffle these up here. The Deck of De Destiny will place these back onto the pile. Uh, and then we're going to see, this looks like Gaius Baltar uh, in the religious fanaticism phase. But uh, basically for this one, we get two Destiny deck cards. Starting with Ellen Ty, we need to get seven or else we're going to lose one morale. So let's have her put in these. Gaius is fallen. Don't have any. Lee can add in one. Uh, Kara, just red. Caprica will place nothing. Um, nothing. And one more here. We'll shuffle these up. Okay, so agitation religious two. Th two, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So that's going to be, do it for those. Uh, we pass it. No effect. Cylons will advance on the ship again. Uh, but we do get to move the jump clock one. And that is going to wrap it up for uh, this round. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in round number four. Take care. Bye-bye.